Hello learners in Learnerland, Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Easy by the Commodores. We're going to do two versions, an easy version <laughs> and a studio version. The studio version, I'm really going to try to get the ukulele to play like a piano would. As always, all the chords tabs on the screen, but you can get a printable version by becoming a Patreon for this tutorial and all our tutorial with links up in the notes. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Let's do it. Go ahead and grab your ukulele. Brain and attention span. Once you got those three things, follow me on in and let's break this down. Easy version first. Okay, beginner version first. If you want to jump towards the more advanced version, the timestamps are pinned in the first comment of the comment section. So we're going to need a G. Without a doubt, the hardest chord for you beginners, and this one's going to be the B minor seven. Just bar the second fret entirely. If you can get your ring finger on the fourth fret and play a B minor, that's great. If you, this is really hard for you though, you could also stick your middle finger over your index finger and see if that extra pressure helps. A minor, and then a C chord. Now, if you wanna get closer to the piano, you would put your index finger on the second fret here on the D note and play a C at nine. It's pretty dissonant, and I will ultimately leave that up to you if you prefer the C or the C add nine. So we're gonna start with the verse, which is the same as the intro, and it goes G, B minor, A minor, C. And each of these chords gets two beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can hear what the C at nine sounded like. And what you're gonna do is in the ver well, in the intro, you're gonna play that two times. So let's give it a chord progression or a strum pattern. It's gonna be down, 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 up. One, two, and up. You're gonna do one down. Then on the second beat, it's gonna be down, down, up. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up. Okay, you've seen it the both ways. I think the beginner version sounds better with just the C. So I'm gonna be playing just the C now. Um, the harmony in the advanced version is gonna be quite a bit more advanced or the studio version rather. Let's keep the beginner version as beginner friendly as possible. So you play through it two times for the intro. We got the intro. In the verse, it's the same progression and the same strumming pattern. And you're gonna play that three times. And then the fourth time through, it's a little different. So since we know how to play it already, instead of playing it three times and then teaching you this, I'm just gonna teach you what happens the fourth time through. The fourth time through, it starts the same with the G. Down, 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 up, and B minor. But then when you get to the A minor, it's gonna be four whole beats, or a measure. So you'll do the down, 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 up, down, 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 up, on the A minor two times. Then on the C, you're gonna do it again two times. Down, 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 up, down. For the second time though, you're gonna let it ring out. You're gonna go down, 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 up, three, four, boom, into the chorus. Strum pattern on the screen, let's go through it together. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and. Second time through. Third time through. Fourth time through, it's gonna change. A whole measure of A minor. Whole measure of C. Two and a three, four and boom, into the chorus. All right, so that is the verse. Let's put the lyrics up and strum through it together. I'll do my best to sing. It's not gonna sound good, but I want you to have a little bit of context. So here we go. One, two, three, four. 
know it sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain. Girl, I'm leaving you to my room. Seems to me, girl, I've done all I can. You see how big I store and borrow. Three, four is why I'm easy. Then we're into the chorus. Let's take a look at the chorus. Let's say hypothetically you wanted to finger pick this song. Well, let me show you what the pattern would look like. You're going to play the G. You're not going to play the G string at all. Just these three. You're going to pluck all three of them. And then you're going to go one. And then on the second beat, you're going to pluck the E and the A string together, immediately followed by the C string. So it's one, two, E. One, two, E. Bar the third fret like this and do the same thing. With the A minor, it doesn't really matter because we're not playing the G string. Same rhythm. And then C, get your finger here. Now here, that dissonance really sounds nice, the C add nine, but you could do just a C. So, that, so the circle three times. After doing it three times, then you would play, just pluck the A minor four times. Well, I'm sorry, you'd still do the G, B minor, and pluck the A minor four times, and that C add nine four times. And then you go into the chorus, which is the same. You can also do the finger picking on the chorus. So you do that three times, then after playing it three times, that main circle, you're gonna strum the F one, two, three, four, G. So the finger picking version of the chorus would look like this. Same pattern that we did three times. One more time. Down an F, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or you could one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Into the next verse. So the chorus is going to do that same strum pattern three times, but the ending is a little different. We're going to introduce the F chord. And when we get to it, we're going to play through it three times, same exact down, 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 boom. Just like that, three times. We get to the end, we're going to play that F, and we're going to let the F ring. One, two, three. We're going to do just downs like that. One, two, three, four, down on a C, and then G and let it ring. So one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, and back into the next verse. So, strum pattern up for the chorus, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Third time through is the last time. Going to F all downs. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and boom, into the verse. Now, when you let the G ring out, one, two, three. Once you get to the fourth beat, if you want, you can either go down, up, down, up, or down, down, up. One, two, three, four, and a or one, two, three, four, we end. Why in the world would it ever change on me? 
Okay? So let's put the chords up and play through the chorus together. Okay, so the only other piece to this song is the bridge, and we are going to introduce, we've seen the F already, but we're also going to introduce the E minor and the D minor. And for this part, we're gonna do all downs. So we're gonna start with the F and we're gonna do four downs. One, two, three, four. One down on the E minor, but it's on the and. So it goes one, two, three, four, and one to the D minor. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four and one two three four okay now with this f right here we can do something a little unique to it and we can make it an f with a g in the bass this is the second f that's just removing the middle finger and you get this sound it's called an f slash g and that's the one in the second measure so you get d minor down for two down two times on this new kind of F, F slash, let's call it F slash G, F add nine, two, you can say that. One, two, and then on the and, C. So the second half, the second measure goes one, two, three, four, and to this F. So really, really slowly this part. Down, 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 down. Okay, and that happens three times. A little more up to speed. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three. After this, I lied, there's another tricky chord, it's a B flat. Sorry about that. Now, if this is too tricky for you up here, you could play it like a G shape and play five, six, five. Just make sure your thumb mutes that G string. Otherwise, you play it three, two, one, one, just like that. Another option though, you could also play three, two, one, open. So it's like an E minor, move everything up a fret and then up a string. You could get away with that too. The timing here though is gonna be one, two, and to the F. One, two, and down, do down. One, two, and three, four. I'm gonna play that same chord again. And then a C, and it's the same rhythm. You're gonna go one, two, and. But the crazy part here is this measures six, four. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, four, five, six. I know the bridge is pretty artsy fartsy, a little uh, eclectic, schmalectic, beautiful, schmutiful. I don't know. Through the verse or the uh, bridge together with the pieces up. Here we go. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. One, two, three. Four and one, two, three, 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 four and one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four. Five, six, and back into our original progression. Okay, so for the advanced version, we're going to get a lot closer to what they're actually playing on the piano. The chord's going to be a, hot, a lot harder, too. We're going to need an A flat, which is barring the third fret, fourth fret here, fifth fret here. Remove your middle finger, and you have a C minor. Move that down two frets. We have a B flat minor. And then we're gonna play a D flat at nine. Bar the first fret, 
third fret of the C string, pinky on the fourth fret of the A string. Okay? So those are the four principal chords, and really what they're playing in there is they're playing a D flat with an E flat in the bass. This is the closest we could get to recreating that. Now we're gonna look at two rhythms, one a strum pattern, and for that strum, we're gonna go down, 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 up. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a boom. Three times through that circle. After the third time through, you're going to start the same, but then you're going to do two of those strum patterns, a whole measure on B flat minor, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, and then over the D flat add nine, same thing, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, three, four, boom, into the chorus. So let's go ahead and strum through this, and then I'm going to show you how to finger pick it like it was a piano. One. Two, three, Into the chorus. Now let's take a look at how to finger pick that. We're going to come up here, eight, eight, six. And we're going to pluck all three of those. Thumb plucks a C string, and these two fingers pluck the E and A. One, two E. And then after that, on the second beat, you're going to pluck just the E and the A strings. And your thumb is going to then play the C string right after that, like one, two E. So it's not two and is sixteenths. 2E, 1, 2E. Then you're going to go from there to this shape, which is 7, 8, 6, same rhythm. Move that down two frets, same rhythm. And then we're going to play 3, 4, 4, same rhythm. So we get... Oops. Okay, you're gonna do that three times. And then on the third time through, the last time through, you're gonna go to the B flat minor here, the second one, five, six, four. And you're gonna pluck it four times. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna to go to the D flat with the E flat in the bass and pluck that four times. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's treat it like we're playing through the verse from the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we're into the chorus. A little, there is a little modification you'll hear. Um, I think it's maybe the second time, maybe the third time through. And it sounds like this. So 
So when you get to the D flat here, you're going to go 3 E and a 4 and 3 E and a 4 and 1, 2 and. So you'll hit this previous, so you're not on the 1 on the and, and let it ring. And 1, 2 and. Then you go right back into the regular groove. It only happens once, and you can hear it um, when you hear the doot, 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 doot. So we play through this modification, and you can you don't only have to add this if you want to, just add some color. Sounds like this. Also, sometimes when you get here, you can go, and they do this little triplet where they go from the 11th fret to the 11th fret to the 8th. So you go. So that would sound and look like this. I don't actually do that one because I don't think the triplet sounds that great. They're doing it on the left hand with the piano and they're doing it on a low frequency and I think it sounds a little better on the bass, but I also wanted to show it to you. We get to the chorus, we're gonna play the piano rhythm three times and then after playing it through three times, we're going to go to this chord, new chord at G flat, and we go down, 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 up, right to a D flat, down, D flat with an E flat in the bass, down, then we're gonna go up on that and then down on an A flat. So it's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. The D flat is just like our D flat slash E flat, just with no ring finger. So really slowly, it's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. You do that after the piano rhythm three times. So the chorus look like this. So now that we have that verse and the chorus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the verse and then the chorus so you can see how these two pieces come together, okay? So from the top, one, two, three, four. to the next verse so those are all the pieces the only thing we need left is the bridge so let's take a look at the bridge okay okay so we only have two more pieces in this one I'm going to show you the key change we have the bridge and then the key change the bridge is going to be a G flat here and you're going to play it down four times one two three four then move this bar up here to the third fret and play five five four this is an F minor. Down two frets, it's an E flat minor. And we're going to see both those chords because we're going to go one, two, three, four, and one. 
One, two, three, four, and one. We get here, down two times. One, two. Remove these two fingers and play a G flat slash A flat. One, one, two, one. Down two times. And then a quick D flat slash E flat. So you get one, two, three, four, and one. 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 Two, three, four, and. Into a B up here. And instead of strumming it, so this is a six, seven, six. You can strum it or you can thumb on the C string and then pluck these two. You're gonna go from there to six, six, four, which is a G flat. And it's one, two, and. One, two, and three, four. Down to one, two, one, followed by one, one, one from the G string. One, two, and three, four, five, six. The second has, is a six, four, so you're actually gonna count to six. You're gonna go one, two, and three, four, five, six. So you finish it by going one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and, and then boom, into the last verse. And then I'll teach you how to play the key change and you got the whole tune. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and, Five, six, into the third chorus. Sorry, it wasn't it wasn't the last verse, it was the last chorus. There's only two verses. So you play through that last chorus one time, and then you're gonna finish the song like this. Playing through it, you've played through the chorus for the third time, and now you're going back to your main progression. Okay, and so after you do just the A flat and the C minor, like normal, when you get to the B flat minor, you're gonna squeeze it five times. One E and a two, and then let that ring. One E and a two. Move it up a half step to B minor and do the same thing. Three E and a four. So one E and a two. Three E and a four. And now, take that G flat, move it up a half step to seven, seven, nine, you were playing an A. So you move that circle up, and now everything's up one fret. So it's seven, seven, nine for the A. Same rhythm. And then now it's eight, nine, seven for the C sharp minor. Same rhythm. Down two frets, B minor now, which is six, seven, five, same rhythm. And then instead of being a D flat with an E flat in the bass, and then the last chord would be that you added now, instead of being a D flat with an E flat in the bass, is a D with an E in the bass. So you would play through that circle two times. and then just strum through an A. And that's how you would finish the song. You use the key change, and then you play through it two times. And that's the whole tune, folks. 
There you go, folks. Commodore is easy. We got finger picking. We got inversions. We got C flats because we're in the K. We're in the key of A flat. So when we have that C flat with the E flat in the bass, we're really just playing a B chord. I know craziness, all kinds of stuff, but that's what happens when you break it down piano style. Or you just played the easy version and had some fun with it. Thanks for learning. Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Or hey. It's a free world. Roll and rock if that is your preference. And until next time, life is good. Catch you on the flip side. Now let's make the ukulele disappear. Poof. Now let's make me disappear.